Marla, our sources with the FBI tell us that the evidence they've seen so far is enough to open up a federal corruption investigation against Sheila Kuehl. The only thing they're going to find inside my house is maybe a few cat videos. It may be a little more than cat videos for L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl. Her own words as her home was raided last week in connection to a corruption probe. I heard from county council last night that she got a tip from Max that this search would happen. M Max Huntsman? Yeah, from Max Huntsman that this search would happen this morning. In a live interview with Good Day LA that morning, Kuehl admitted that she was tipped off about the raid the night before. A new 26-page court filing shows text messages Kuehl received warning of the search nine hours before the sheriff's department knocked on her door. Sheriff's Department, we have a warrant. Kuehl denied to go on camera, but released a statement in part saying, simply receiving information is not unlawful. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority at the core of the investigation. A Fox 11 report two years ago revealed a no-bid contract was awarded to the nonprofit group Peace Over Violence. That group, run by one of Kuehl's closest friends, Patty Giggins. Thursday's court filing also mentioning they suspect Giggins hid her phone before deputies searched her home as well. So this is a story either of something that we don't like to talk about but probably happens all the time, which is cozy relationships between elected officials and sometimes their donors, or potentially, and I think that's a big potentially, crossing over into criminal activities. Law professor Jessica Levinson says things will get more interesting if Kuehl did anything questionable the night before the search. And I think the analogy that comes to mind, it, it does seem like there's a sort of deliberate attempt to fly just below the radar line with these contracts. Right. And it is possible that these contracts were unwise policy. It is possible that peace over violence didn't do much. It is possible that they really should not have been awarded these no-bid contracts, that there was no good reason for that. But it is also possible that Sheila Kuehl will not face any criminal liability. Those two things can both be true. It's worth noting that the threshold for contracts to be voted on by the MTA is $500,000. The no-bid contract at the center of this case, $494,000. Reporting live in Santa Monica, Travis Rice, Fox 11 News.